Good morning. You got Gord, you're hurting hippie. It is Tuesday. It's a beautiful morning. It is warmer right now. It's 11 degrees Celsius than the high tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to zero overnight and a warm of 8 degrees. 8 degrees double add 30. That's 46 for you uh, Fahrenheit people. I want to say a shout out to Adrian in Elk Point, Alberta. Elk, anyways, Langdon Cannabis Club. All of you at the Langdon Cannabis Club. Big shout out, big hello. Thank you for following me. I do hope you subscribe. I hope you enjoy some of my stuff. Look back, look back at my education playlists or my product reviews playlists or even just family and fun. I have 1,200 videos, all, all separate in different playlists. So I hope you enjoy. What's on the, what's on the, uh, plate today? The pondering plate today. I just want to talk a little more about the recent update by the Ontario government that they are going to create some 160 to 200 stores, dispensaries, throughout Ontario, and just like the LCBO, uh, Liquor Control Board of Ontario, you can only buy liquor through the government in Ontario, just like that, they are going to make it so you can only buy your cannabis through the government. It'll be in LCBC, Liquor Control Board of Cannabis, I don't know, Liquor Control Board, no. Cannabis Control Board of Ontario, CCBO, something like that. It's going to be different, but, uh, you know, I'd said initially when I saw it, you know, it's up to the people of Ontario to stand up and fight for this, but they're used to just generic stores run by the government, their taxes pay them for them, inefficient. That's just the left leaning government of Ontario. It's always been that way. Big government and little freedom. I don't foresee, although I have no knowledge of it yet, I don't foresee that particular model working anywhere but in Ontario. Maybe in Quebec. Most Canadians are far too libertarian to allow the government to have a monopoly. In Alberta, there are no government-owned liquor stores. It's all private. We believe in, in the spirit of the pri private enterprise. And what a mistake by Ontario government. There's already a couple hundred dispensaries throughout Ontario. All they had to do, the it's already out there. They had to work out a regulation. Almost every one of those dispensaries is more than willing to sign on to, to living up to certain government regulations to stay open, to become a part of a vibrant, competitive market. Ontario won't have that. Uh, also, had they done that, the cost would have been low competitiveness keeps the cost low but also you don't have to build a bunch of stores and prepare a bunch of stores and train a bunch of staff it's already there thus keeping all the costs down and taxes can be higher and the taxes can be used to help society it's re really a big mistake Ontario will still have a fair size black market people say oh the, I saw an article just this morning, I'm not going to share it, that said Canada's legalization will not kill the black market like Trudeau expects. Well, first of all, if Trudeau expects that, he's a lot more immature than even I say he is. But the black market never disappears. There's still a black market for every single thing that you might want to buy, whether legal or illegal. So legalizing something doesn't get rid of the black market. It's how you distribute it. And it's understanding that the black market never disappears, just like bad people never disappear. 
it's common sense and it really bothers me that people use other use obfuscation changing the the words you hear so that you don't listen to what you probably would hear if they didn't say it do you know what i mean really bothers me but i do see that in alberta and bc they well in bc they'll probably take advantage of the current dispensary situation alberta has one or two dispensaries throughout the whole province so something needs to be built something needs to be worked with with local businesses and i do see that happening i do see a lot more freedom here in alberta than there will be in ontario but bottom line is it's getting legal. Access will be simpler, safer. Will the medicine be as good? Probably not, but we take that first step. We get our foot in the legalization door and then we start prying that door more and more open over the next 10 or 20 years. We're always working on society to make it a better place for our kids. Just remember that. So my friends, peace and cheers, love and harmony.